Welcome to the Great Basin Prescribed Fire and Smoke Transport Briefing for Wednesday, March 1st. Over the last 7 to 14 days, we've continued to have a stormy pattern across the Great Basin with new precipitation, especially in the mountain areas, uh, but really along the Sierras where we've seen the bulk of the moisture, but still areas across Utah, eastern Idaho, and Wyoming doing fairly well with the moisture as well. Over the last two weeks, this precipitation has been well above normal for the time of year in these areas. However, still some drier spots are central Idaho, parts of northern and central Nevada that have been not seeing as much precipitation. New snowfall over the last 72 hours with a significant storm that moved into the west has produced several feet of new snow in the Sierra and anywhere from one to three feet of new snow in the higher elevations of Utah up into Idaho and Wyoming as well. We've also seen lower elevation snowfall more significantly across the western half of the Great Basin. The snow depth is indicated on the right, and you can see our current snowpack is still well above normal, above 150 or 200% of normal across all of Nevada, Utah, and Arizona, and then closer to normal as you move further north into Idaho and Wyoming. The satellite loop from this morning shows this current storm system moving into central California and will continue to be pushing eastward and south across the Great Basin and the desert southwest. This will continue generating gusty winds for parts of the southern half of the Great Basin along with significant snowfall and some rainfall for the southern and eastern half of the region as well. There are several winter storm warnings out and winter weather advisories along with some wind advisories. So for later today, that storm system moves east into Arizona, so we'll continue to see precipitation mainly across the eastern half of the Great Basin, with drier conditions finally moving into western areas. Fire potential, obviously, with our wetter conditions and cold temperatures and snowfall will remain low for the foreseeable future. Transport winds as this system moves through will be gusty over the western half to two-thirds of Nevada as these gusty north-northwest winds move in behind this low and then also some gusty southerly winds out ahead of the low into parts of Arizona and southern Utah. Mixing heights will remain high region-wide with the exception of parts of eastern Idaho into Wyoming. Relative humidity will remain above 30 to 40 percent with this system moving through, and dispersion will remain quite good over the western half of Nevada and southern areas of the Great Basin where these winds are strongest. As we move into Thursday, this system quickly moves across the desert southwest into Texas. So we will have a break in the weather across much of the Great Basin with just maybe some cloud, cloud cover over eastern areas or some light snow flurries, otherwise low fire potential. Transport winds will still remain gusty over southern and eastern areas of the Great Basin as the system exits, and mixing heights will begin dropping over western and northern areas of the Great Basin. Relative humidity still will remain above 30 or 40 percent, possibly down to 20 or 25 percent in the far south, but again no concerns with this with the recent precipitation moving through today. And dispersion will remain good over far southern areas and pour over the remainder of the areas as a weak ridge of high pressure moves in. On Friday, some flat zonal flow or very weak ridging across the Great Basin, so another break in the weather. We will have some moisture dropping into Idaho, so we could see some clouds or even some light snow showers on Friday in the far north, but otherwise Nevada and Utah will remain dry on Friday. Winds will be decreasing with the exception of some gusty northwest winds in the central and northern Utah mountains up into Wyoming, and then mixing heights will remain low to moderate. Really no change in the relative humidity and dispersion will remain good over parts of Utah and Idaho, but poor over western areas of the Great Basin. Cold temperatures will continue this week, first today with highs only reaching the 20s and 30s in most areas and the 40s in the far south as this current storm system moves through. We will see a bit of warming later this week with weak ridging, but then cooler temperatures still continue into the weekend. Overnight lows will drop into the single digits to teens across many areas and down into the mid-30s over southern areas. The forecast amount of precipitation for the next three days. Today, most of that precipitation is falling over southern and eastern areas, so generally lighter precipitation will be returning mostly on Saturday. So really, again, dry days in most areas Thursday, Friday. On Saturday, the next storm system starts to move into the Pacific Northwest, so we will see winds kicking up and improved dispersion across much of Nevada and Utah and even into Idaho, with some lighter showers in the far north on Saturday. And then as we move into Sunday, we'll see that moisture start to push a little bit further south, so we'll see increasing chances for snowfall over the northern half of the Great Basin and still gusty winds with this system keeping dispersion higher. 
As we go into Monday, this pattern still remains with this trough remaining in the west, so continued unsettled weather. And then on Tuesday, very similar. We will continue to see periods of snow going into especially this weekend and then also into next week. Precipitation totals for days four and five taking us from Saturday through Monday. You can see the next storm system moving in, so we will have that precipitation moving into the Sierra especially, and then lighter precipitation eastward across everywhere, but really the far south. As we go into the early part of the week, next week we'll see somewhat of a lull in the weather or just some light showery conditions. And then the seven day total precipitation taking us through next Wednesday, you can see the combination of all of those storms. We will have yet another storm moving in later next week. The 8 to 14 day outlook taking us from March 8th through the 14th still shows continued cool temperatures and above normal pre precipitation taking us at least through the middle of March. And hopefully we'll see some ridging or some drier conditions later in the month. But right now it looks like a cooler, wetter pattern will continue for the next few weeks. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Monday for the latest updates.